Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over courtyards, what they are, how to use them, and where they come from. In fact, I'm actually not sure about that last point. I <laughs> one day I just kind of like started noticing these things, and I'm like, oh, what, what, what does this mean, courtyard? Because if you look on the actual list of layers, it's kind of spelled weird. So let's take a look at what that is. Here's the board we've been looking at. Uh, but in the bottom right, I was like, C R T Y D. What is it? Like Curtidia? I didn't, I didn't know what it was, but let's just take a look. Let's zoom in a little bit and then turn it, that layer on and off. What you see is there's like bounding boxes here. OK, and that's about it. It doesn't really show much else. But what this ultimately does is, and, and the thing to know about it is I've made boards in the past, at least. Uh, not, not the thing to know about it, but let me give you a little story here. In the past, I've made boards where I've just had a big component that I made. And then I put another component on top of it, and they just the footprint was underneath another footprint. And ultimately, it was because I didn't add a courtyard layer here. And so let's take a look at how this actually works in this in this case. So so first off, let's run DRC. Let's just make sure this thing's going to work at all. Uh, so DRC, uh, no errors, no unconnected. That's good to know. Okay, so now what we want to do is check uh, footprint courtyard overlap, check courtyard missing in footprint. So these two things, I believe, are new in 5.0. That might have been in 4.0 as well. But either way, let's start the DRC again. So here we go. This is one, this is obviously a footprint that I made. So no footprint defined. If we go down through the layer, through the, the DRC um, the errors here, you see each one is actually checking in and saying, hey, look, you didn't actually, you made these footprints, but you didn't add a courtyard. So let's go and do that and see what actually happens here. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to actually move a component into that courtyard area, right? Now, this, uh, let's see if we can get it to the error out and other, for other reasons. Uh, we'll actually connect this back up. I'll hit X, draw this together here. Now, what should happen? Uh, actually, and let's flip this to the. No, that is, uh, let's flip this to the back side rather. So we're going to flip this, select the component, hit F to flip, and now it's on the back side. Not much else has changed, right? But what has changed is now PD4 is on top of this PD the PD40, right? So basically, we have two components that are overlapping one another. If I turn off this check. Missing footprints. I believe we should have no court, no errors right now. Refill zones. That's fine. Yeah. You see now that these two these two footprints are very obviously overlapping. The the let me turn off the top layer here. Turn off the back uh, front side footprints. Turn off this. Here we go. Okay. So so this is what it looks like. We're gonna hit DRC again. Start DRC. And it should error out right now, right? We basically have two intersecting footprints. Even though they're not of much consequence, they are intersecting. What the problem is here is that I did not create a footprint. Like I said, if I do check courtyard missing, it's going to tell me, hey, look, you didn't create a courtyard for this component here. So let's go and create that courtyard and see what happens. So I'm going to select the footprint. I'm going to hit E. I'm going to go into Footprint Editor. And this should open up the entire dialog here. OK, so here's our footprint. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create this this uh, just an arbitrary courtyard. Basically, the courtyard says don't go within, you know, don't let a foot another footprint within the area of the courtyard. So basically, keep all other things out of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the the line tool here. Now there is a spec for the courtyards, but I'm going to select this and start drawing here. Now, unfortunately, I have not figured out a way, and maybe if people in the comments can tell me otherwise, I have not figured out a way to just start drawing in the courtyard area. So what I do is I usually draw a bounding box. And then from there, I go and modify it to make it look like a courtyard. So I'm just going to draw like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And double click to finish. OK, now courtyard has an actual spec, which I was surprised about. But it needs to be an enclosed box. And hopefully, I clo closed all this up. We'll see in a second here. But it says an enclosed box on the courtyard layer of 0.05 millimeters. And if I hit F twice, no, nope, F courtyard. There we go. So now we'll see it kind of changes. Oh, did I hit zero? Oh, sorry. Zero. Ah, I double double point five it. There we go. Okay, so this is what they normally look like here. Same thing here. I'm gonna say 0.05. F twice. There we go. 0.05. You know, you don't need to make it the same thickness, but that is the spec, and might as well do it, right? Uh, and then the last one here, 0.05. F twice. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the grid a little bit bigger, and that should allow me to just connect these points just to make sure. So my grid's kind of small right now. So if I do a larger grid, if I grab this, move it to a, oh boy, maybe a little too big there. There we go. And basically, we just want to make it so that they snap together. There we go. 
And this is also because like the courtyard, you know, so some courtyards are going to be very stringent, right? You, you basically won't be able to, you know, let another component within that area. If you're on a board like the one we're looking at here, there's, it's really not that tight of a board. And so, okay, so now we definitely know all this. There's contiguous corners. Everything's connected here. It will give you errors if you don't have a closed uh, polygon with the lines. Now, I tried drawing it with the polygons as well, like this. And, you know, you can draw a polygon like this, and you can even add it to this uh, front courtyard area. It did not like that, though, in the actual check. So I'm just going to leave that a B for now. I think there's a way to do that, but I think that's for a future video. Okay, so let's hit save here. Save. Oh, cannot save. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, might have to save this as a new component here. So hit save. We're going to save it in my friend's library here. Hopefully that's okay. And then we'll go and switch. Unable to cons cannot open. Ah, crud. Okay. Um, actually, let's just go and update footprint into current board. This is basically a hack that allows you to just go and update it without actually saving it to a library. So let's do that. Let's see if that worked. There we go. So now we have a bounding box, at least. Other stuff in the library later. I just didn't have that set up right now. Okay, so now we have a bounding box, right? And these two things are... Uh, are airing out here. I'm going to turn off the check courtyard and missing in footprints. So basically now it's going to say it's going to ignore all those other errors. What it should say now is it should say check footprint courtyard overlap. That's what we're really looking for here. Hit OK. Oh, pff, to actually do the check, Chris. OK, and start DRC. And now we have one error. And it says, hey, look, these two boxes are overlapping. And what this happens is basically now you now you can do a kind of a effective keep out area. Now, keep out is a different thing in the layout. That's uh, basically this one here. It says you can basically draw an area. We'll go over that in a future video as well. But this basically says, don't let these two components intersect one another. It's kind of like a, it's like a force field or, a, <laughs> you know, a, uh, it's effectively a representation of the don't allow these things to overlap. And from that perspective, I think it's really, really useful. Now, this is something, like I said, that you need to be putting into your footprint if you want to make sure that your checks, that your, uh, that your things aren't erroring out. You saw that some of the older footprints that I made, I did not put it in there. I'm not sure that this existed in earlier. I'm, I don't know when this came into KiCad, to be honest. Um, but uh, this is something that I'm definitely putting into my, my, my footprints as I build them now. I think it's a super critical layer because if you don't do it, basically you could start to have things encroaching on one another and it could really, uh, it could really mess up your designs. You know, even things like soldering, making soldering more difficult, uh, you know, even if they're not overlapping entirely, they might just be too close. And that's uh, something you want to try and prevent. So we'll have more videos like this. If you want to talk about courtyards themselves, you can do that in the KiCad forum. That's forum.kicad.info. And if you want to talk about electronics, you can go over to forum.contextualelectronics.com. That's all for now. We'll have more videos about footprints and courtyards and lots of good stuff here on Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.